excited to be bringing you today's video because yesterday I graduated. This is my graduation hat. And so I wanted to show you guys um, just the, the process of me getting ready for yesterday. It was such a good day. Um, I spent it with my family and my friends and all of the other graduates that were a part of the graduation. And yeah, it was just a really fun day and it was so nice to get to thank my parents and my boyfriend for their love and their support over the past five years of my degree. And so yeah, I just thought I would show you guys the makeup that I wore to the graduation and also my outfit for the graduation in case you were looking for some inspiration for your graduation and I thought I would show you guys my new friend <laughs> this is Brambles and his little hood has the same colors that my hood had when I graduated you'll see that later on in the video and Brambles and I got to be twins yesterday because we had our matching hats and our matching hoods and I just think he's the cutest thing in the whole world if you guys all really really enjoy this video and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so to get started with this graduation makeup, I'm just gonna start with my Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer, and I'm just gonna apply that all over my face with my fingers. And this is just to help the uh, foundation to sit nicely on the skin and make it look lovely and flawless. And then I'm going in with my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. And again, I'm just applying this all over my face with my fingers. And I'm just gonna blend this in really well to cover up any redness or imperfections on the skin and make my skin look like it's lovely and perfect which it is not <laughs> so i'm just rubbing that in really well and then using my chanel concealer i'm applying that under my eyes to cover up my under eye circles um, and i've gone quite far down with the concealer to make sure i cover up any lines under my eyes that make me look more tired than i am so that um, all my photos come out nice. So that's what I'm just doing here. I'm just blending the concealer in with my finger. Because you know when you graduate you have to take a lot of photos. And then I'm going to set my foundation and concealer with my Natio powder and my Kabuki brush from the Body Shop. And I'm just going to blend that in all over my face and make sure that everything is nice and blended out and there's no harsh lines where the foundation finishes and my natural skin begins. And then I'm using my Almay um, eyeshadow palette with the lightest colour and I'm just using that to define my brow bone underneath my eyebrows. And then I'm using my Natio eyeshadow duo taking the lightest um, really pretty champagne colour and applying that all over the lids of my eyes um, to create a nice natural a shadow on the eyes and then I'm using my Sports Girl Time to Shine eyeshadow palette and taking the goldy bronzy colour and using a fluffy brush, I'm just applying that to the crease of the eyes to keep the eyeshadow nice and natural because it was a daytime graduation. And I've just blended that into the crease to create more definition and depth to the eyes. And then I'm taking this pretty taupe colour from the same palette and just applying that to the outer corner of my eyes with the same brush just to darken up the outer corner slightly. Then I'm using my CoverGirl Line Exact Liquid Liner and applying this to the very, very edge of my eyelashes, just like where my eyelashes begin, to create a bit more definition there and make them look thicker. But I really didn't want a thick line at all, and I didn't wing it out or anything like that. I just wanted to keep everything nice and natural for the day. Um, and this CoverGirl pen is really cool because it's kind of like a felt tip pen, so I find it quite easy to use. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my trusty eyelash curler. And then I'm going to apply mascara. I've just used my Grow Luscious Revlon Mascara. This is the waterproof version because I was a little bit scared that I was going to cry during my graduation. It was pretty emotional. And so I've just applied that to my top and bottom lashes and I've done a few coats to make my lashes nice and thick. And then I've used my MAC Blush in Dainty. And I heard a tip the other day that if you apply your blush a bit like higher than the apples of your cheeks, it makes you look younger, whereas lower blush will make you look more mature. So I've just applied it higher today just to see what it looked like, and I really liked it. And then for my lips, I'm just using my Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie, which I think is one of the prettiest colours I've seen, and I absolutely love it. And this is actually the first time I've worn it. And I think it came out really nice. I thought it was a really nice lip colour to go with the eyes. 
and it was really nice for a daytime event and then I've just blotted it on a piece of um, tissue so that I didn't get any on my teeth when I was drinking champagne or talking to anyone and then this is the finished makeup look um, so yeah you can see the eyes are quite natural and the lips but this hair is just not going to work so all I've done for my graduation is I straightened my hair. I'm not going to show you guys that because I think it's quite straightforward. But I had to wear the mortarboard graduation hat. And so I just really didn't know what to do with my hair. Um, and then I have my cute little black dress. It's just a knee length dress um, from Macy's. And this cute little belt to wear with it just to cinch in my waist. And um, my shoes are from Best. They're just little peep toe black heels. And then here I am in my pyjamas, which obviously I'm not going to go to my graduation in my pyjamas. So I need to do a quick change and wear my lovely dress. And so then um, here's the look with the dress and the shoes. And then here is my full graduation outfit. And as you can see, yeah. Brumbles and I were matching with our hoods and our colours. And that's the finished look.